tennis ball between the pool. We're gonna go and ride. Okay, is the pivot shuttle. Right, we're back in the UK. The dogs are loving it. And today, I'm gonna make a coffee table. I've got a piece of wood here. I've just cut down a couple of sleepers here, which I'm about to sand up. So it's gonna be a bit of a bit today. We're gonna do that. And then we've been to the bus. We've picked up a new custom, a Jackson Customs seat for the Zuma. We're gonna test that out. We're gonna fit some tires and take on an e-bike ride. So it's a few jobs around the house. And there was another job I was gonna do. I can't remember what it was, but coffee table funny do you remember what the other one was i don't know fit the seat did you say yeah coffee table fit the seat oh maybe work on the cr 500 might fire that up for you so if you like those stick around and go for an e-bike that the tennis ball stand up as well tilly currently has the tennis ball between the paws a lot of man wants the tennis ball between the paws <laughs> first job up we're going to check out this is the new zuma seat i'm not convinced i'm honest it's quite a bright brown it's not quite what I was after. We're gonna chuck it on anyway, test it out, see what we think, and then we're gonna make a decision. So, the Zuma Jacks custom seat. First up, you got a nice little lock on the side here, and you ping the seat up. And we're looking like two 10 mil nuts just to get it off. Oh yeah. Quite a quick takeoff. It would have here. And look, authentic Japanese seat. Will you look at that? One nut there, just drop the other nut. This way. Dropped it again. Just gonna do, do the old seat up. Mate, no one's out there. This way. Come on. What do you think, sports fans? I kind of like it, but I'm also kind of not sure. What do you reckon, Barney? Mm, it's not the right brown. No, I know, but I it think... It's not the right brown. Could we get, like, a, a leather stain? Do you like white shit in like that? I don't know. <laughs> Can you let stain leather? Out. Who knows? It's definitely only one way to test the seat. We're going to have to take it for a spin. Five straight up. You coming on a lot of man? It's his favorite spot. You coming guys? Okay. Lada. Now he wants to go to the crew. Okay. <laughs> Right, first job done. Not sure if we're gonna keep it, but next job, we're gonna sand these little sleepers up here to go for the new table. Right, we're gonna be using the 120 grit sandpaper. It's a 180 mil disc. And going on there like that. And I'm not plugged in. Two.
I'm a bit of a hacker, so we're on a second disc now, but the sleeper really is standing up. Just lovely, we've got a couple edges to go, but look at it. There's a little before and after. We start with one of these, just a little, little block of sleeper. And this is what we're getting to. Give her a little oil, a little polish up, and put her on the bottom of this once I've done that. I think that's kind of two pieces. They're gonna look good enough, this piece of wood. I'm gonna go easy on that and turn the sound down a lot and see what we can do on this bad boy. Maybe I'll go with the grain, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah. Quick dusting on the top coat, you can see the comparison to the old colour. And she's smoothing up quick. Top side done, done a bit there, just gonna polish the top up here and smoothen that off. Burnt a few discs, but we've got a pretty smooth piece of wood there. Nice little edge on the front. A bit weird, but once we all are up, she's gonna look cool. Right, got a little legs on there. We're gonna do little metal brackets that hopefully you won't see it, and we're gonna space it out, me and Bonnie look seven centimeters each side off the end which is two and three quarter inches and a little impact gun get those legs screwed on the little feet on a few little brackets hopefully not going to skim too much it's my coffee table almost complete really all i got to do now is a bit of oil on the sucker one completed project number two we'll carry her over and see how we go That is number two right there. Solid bit of eucalyptus tree with eucalyptus sleeper. Little coffee table for the house. All right. Next up, oh, we're almost at e-biking. Right, we've done the kind of chores around the house and things. Barney's building up some pretty special new stuff from Reynolds. And I'm gonna go for a solo e-bike shred now. This is the Pivot Shuttle. It's got the EP8 motor by Shimano. We're rolling, I'm trying two of the new Continental Crypto Tile rear tires out today so i got a rear on the rear and a rear on the front done one ride in them we're just experimenting because it's such few tires i've had front front rear rear a combo of both and just gonna see how it goes really but a bit of a solo sad e-bike shred but we've got to get some miles in before the next block of racing I don't know if you can hear me it's quite a picturesque ride out from where i live up to the spot but i don't know if mountain biking really is ever going to get us to the level of this it's a shame it's so small in this camera, but that's a pretty ridiculous house. Motivation when you ride out. <laughs> Go do some trading. Let's run Eco, 25 k's an hour right now. Oh, we aired out in the last 
last one, sports fans, so you missed a trail, but we're going for a heater next one, so we'll see what we can do for you. And we're boosting now, slow cadence boosting. Flatty for some little catches. Your, your basic e-bike treading near where I live in Swindon. Some pretty sick tracks, it's not too much going on today. Loving the two crypto tile rears though, it's pretty dry out today. And they're feeling good, I'm liking how they're feeling. E-bikes are the bomb as well. Have not been doing enough of that lately, so two sets got a log on the path. But yeah, could not be loving e-bikes more. So so fun if you get a chance to get out on one don't hate just give it a try you might like it you might actually hate it but i'm really really sure you won't so yeah it's unbelievable and with the shimano one you've got this thing called the e-tube app where you can tune your bike a lot of people don't know about it but you can go into the app and eco has a bunch of different settings of power that it can work in same with trail and boost so if you're both an eco with your mate and you think he's smoking you maybe his eco is on five and yours is on one and each range has a different thing you can turn up so it might be because he's been in the e-tube app or his bike came set up differently from the manufacturer so check out because these things are unreal all right a few technical issues yesterday we're going to keep the lsd going and today we're going to go and ride the ktm the 500 is not coming out we're taking the sxf 250 to meet christian faircloth do a few laps for enduro track maybe a few little jibs and stoppies and skills and get a bit of training on that so we're going to load this up now on the defender and get going all right Bikes on, nice little bike rack here. We've got the freshly out boots in. We'll get some kit. We'll go off and shred some laps. Here we are at Spot X. Lanny's parked up. We're gonna go shred some laps.
That's the hardest thing ever. It's slick, isn't it? Is it not so washy on your front? My front wheel feels like I'm doing that yeah. the whole time. Oh, I'm glad it's not just me. I mean, I dropped it first lap behind him. Yeah. So first, first, first turn. Sharp left hander. Yeah. My arms are so pumped and I'm so bad. <laughs> That's so good. That's good. Was that four laps? I think so. Yeah. A lot, lot better when we get into it. That's plenty. Oh, you're smoking me at the start. <laughs> I'll do it four minutes. Shit, we're so crap. Right, we're pretty much going to end this LSD there. It's been a few house jobs, a Rattly Defender, and a sick little session with Christian Faircloth on the moto, just get a bit of arm pump training in. Wow, I suck. I haven't ridden for two months and I've got really, really bad arm pump. But really fun, such a tight little track in the woods. And yeah, that's it. Next up is going to be Duffy, Dovey, Bank Holiday Weekend, Bike Park, just shredding with the biggest crew. So watch out for that. But I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next one, sports fans. Thanks so much.